Hello everybody and welcome back to another reading of The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. I'm a little nervous right now because this is take two of my recording, something happened, I don't know what. Uh, but that aside, we're going to begin where we left off with the students of the Knight Academy. I also want to say, if, if I go too fast, I'm going to say this right now while we're in the beginning of the series. If I go too fast um, for you to really look at the pictures and whatnot, or, or if uh, maybe I ever read something too fast, you understood what I said or something... I would advise just pausing the video and taking a look at it, or rewinding if you have to. Uh, just some... I, I know that's common sense, but... Uh, I don't know. Some, it, 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 it can get annoying, and it's just something that I should say directly. So yeah, Students of Night County. Groose, final version. Link's rival. Uh, I decided in the end not to read the captions. Uh, I, uh, I know I asked you guys for that, but I, I feel like it's a little annoying. Kind of useless. But yeah. I will say... I will... Um, mention the uh, subtitles. Colin and Stritch final versions, rough illustration, you know, like that. He may look a little rough around the edges, but Groose en engineered a massive railed weapon that was instru instrumental in helping Link defeat the imprisoned and defend the sealed temple. Groose has a lot of training equipment in his room, and I think he's probably a hardworking and surprisingly skilled kid. He also acts like the leader of the kids in the dormitory, and has invaded Colin and Stritch's room. Hirono, designer. A variety of students, honor student, dormitory students, Knight Academy upperclassmen, Zelda's friend, Karain, final version, Gussie type, upperclassmen, Pippet, final version, Knight Commander, Aegis, e Aegis, whatever, final version. Sparring Hall, right here. Knight Commander. Sheikah Stone and the Gossip Stone. One of the Sheikah Stones lives between the Sparring Hall and the Knight Academy. He is easy to dismiss, but his hints are very valuable. The Gossip Stones that dot the surface world hold rare information, just like uh, in Ocarina of Time. Um, sorry about that. Market Plan. I just want to check the other screen, actually, just to test to make sure everything's good. Yep, you guys can read that. Just like last reading, uh, I'm sure you guys noticed my commentary there. I'm very, very, very concerned about whether you guys can fully enjoy this book. I mean, again, like I said last time, I do want you guys to buy the book on your own. Or you can. A lot of people sell the. What the way I don't have a Zelda Wii U. The way I got this was I bought it on eBay. A lot of people sell those codes. I don't even know if they're still going around anymore, honestly. But you can try. Shopping mall image. The Bazaar. When the player returns to Skyloft after an adventure and prepares for the next one, it's inconvenient if all the shops are in different locations. So we decided, decided to design a centralized town market model. Did you notice a different music in each shop? Fubi, Fujibayashi, director. Hisada, designer. Gondo, scrap shop, final version. Spare it, fortune teller, final version. Female chef, Saboya's mother, Island Resident 5, Cafe Chef Piper, final version. Lively Bazaar uh, Park Patron, Cafe Patron's Crew, final version. Gourmet Dovo's final version. Uh, before I read that, gear shop design, gear shop, weapon shop, blacksmith, weapon shop, old lady, trader of death. There are many funny ideas like making uh, deals to stir up business at a fortune teller's shop behind the great, behind the gear shop, or making characters related. I was especially attracted to weapons, to the weapons shop, the blacksmith, and the scrap shop. Oyama, designer. Potion shop ten. Potion shop, potion shop, potion shopkeeper idea, potion shop, stop repeating the same thing, oh yeah, also, and I'm mostly doing this because it's the beginning of the book, uh, if you remember, if you joined me in the last two readings, or you know this book, or, and this is mostly for people, this is the first time reading this with me, uh, 
the first part of this book is all pictures, and the last part of this book is all pictures. When we really get to the actual deep reading is when we get to uh, is when we get to the uh, uh, history of Hyrule section of the book. But yeah, originally we were going to have one shopkeeper in each shop. We hadn't decided on the details for the potion shopkeeper and the item check keeper, so we decided. So we asked for some sketches from five different designers. As we discussed them, we expanded on the best ideas and fleshed out the characters. There were so many times I thought, if we don't use this, it will be a real waste. We were able to work it out, so some of the characters were used in other places. Hirono, designer. Item check. Item check keeper, Petrus, final version. Unused bizarre character, fruit and vegetable vendor. That would have been cool. Item check. Wind Waker Salvatore, The Legend of Zelda. Shopkeepers with unique personalities. There are many unique shopkeepers throughout the Zelda series. Maybe this is because over the years an incredible volume of ideas have been developed for the various games in the series. The gear shopkeepers, mother... Gossel, Gosel, whatever vinyl bird. Gear shopkeeper's mother. Crazy lady. F fan design plans. Worldly young lady. Residence of Skyloft. The scrap keep ke shopkeeper's mother, Griba, final version. Malara, final version. Gassel's cart and Griba's basket appear early in the game, when the two are take talking on the bridge. We showed these normal, middle-aged women going about their business to give a sense of daily life in Skyloft. Hirono, designer. An interior and exterior look at, the, at a design of a home in Skyloft. Details about the furniture inside are carefully decided based on the people who live there and their family dynamics. That's small. I'll read that. Probably hard to see uh, on the green uh, picture there on the right. A plan to have. Uh, I can't even read it. <laughs> a plan to have entrance exit allowing one to jump from different eaves of the roof. Size adjust meet here. Paro, final version. Burrowed handler. Oriel, final version. Uh, Raina, final version. Residence, resident of commoner's home. Jemakar, final version. Rescue Knights. Oh, that's this guy. It's looking for that. Jemakar. Uh, Rescue Knights, final version. Uh, Kukale, final version. Uh, Beatrix, final ver human version. Beatrix, devil version. Gully, final version. Remlet, final version. People of Skyloft unused. We thought the cleaner was really cool and impressive and wanted to use him in a, a sub-event. Sub -event. The way things worked out, he didn't appear. But the core material of the cleaner character shows up in someone else. Hirono, designer. Boy who loves rabbits. Basic personality, body, human relationships, tone, hobbies. New pop idol. Guide who runs around the town. Island Resident 2. Island Resident 1. Skyward Sword, Tingle from Majora's Mask. Characters born of trial and error. The pool of characters in Zelda games are, is incredibly deep. They leave an impression, probably because each character has many layers that can be seen even in the unused characters. The famous Tingle may have been born from one of these unused backup characters. 
which they uh, Sakurai is uh, uh, no, not Sakurai. What am I saying? Uh, Anuma, Ayanuma, uh, what, I think it's Ayanuma, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, made an uh, interview recently about Tingle. I think it's really interesting. I should check that out. Look it up. Statue of the Goddess. Goddess worship is a pervasive element in the religion in religion in Skyloft, especially the customs associated with it. The statue of the goddess transcends mere religious symbol and has become a special attraction and point of interest. It is a landmark that can be seen from anywhere in the city. The interior, unlike the city around it, uses a more straight uses uh, more straight lines and angles, and coupled with the uh, the monoc gives the impression of and inflexibility. Fujibayashi, director, Hisada, designer. Bamboo Cutter. Peter, final version. Bamboo Cutter Knight. Bamboo Cutting Sword, Peter Sword. The one name you could pronounce in the... <laughs> That's a lovely drawing. People of the Sky Islands. Beetle, final version. Roulette Man Idea. Fun Fun Islands Dodo, final version. An artistic rendering of a valley and the legendary floating islands. The islands are remin reminiscent of mountains, standing at different altitudes. At the top, the birds of legends, which many seek as they set up out upon the, their ascent. Constant damage. Inside the lumpy pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin landing. Pumpkin landing. Kenya, final version. Hum, final version. Ringers are tiny animals that gather around Link as he skydives from a high altitude above Pumpkin Landing. Presta, final version. Older regular customer. Lumpy Pumpkin customer 1, older regular customer 4. Heat, final version. Lumpy Pumpkin customer and a fan of Kina's. Lumpy Pumpkin customer 2, Kina's fan 3. Customer 2. Since the theme of the game is the sky, the main feature animal is the bird. We decided not to have gro uh, ground animals like cows up here. Because of that, pumpkin soup is, isn't made with milk. Pumpkins are a staple of the diet of the people who live in the sky, and they all love it. Kina, the face of the lumpy pumpkin, has become an idol of sorts. She has some very surprising fans, and it seems like some fans would like to keep the, their fandom secret. Iwamoto, producer, Hirono, designer. Milk bar unused. Milk bar people. Customer 2. Levias, final version. Levias, when possessed, final version. Inside the Thunderhead. Ocular Parasite uh, Bilokite, final version. Tortoise and fish type, sperm whale type. The original concept was a boss fight while riding a loft wing. After Link fights the, the, the Bilokite while riding the loft wing, we decided that uh, during the second part of the fight, Link would get off his bird and do the dirty work with his sword. Fujibayashi director. Spirits with large bodies, Jaboon from Wind Waker. Throughout the title, spirits, creatures like Levias appear many times. Many creatures like Lord Jabu Jabu and Ocarina of Time are based on sea animals. The Sealed Grounds. This is where Link lands when he first arrives from the sky. An evil being slumbers here. It's also where the goddess slept for thousands of years in the protection of the Sheikah. This is the first place the player lands on the surface, so we consciously made it dark to really contrast it with the sky, 
and make it a mysterious place. We kept several key elements of the game in mind when designing the sealed grounds, namely the goddess's harp and the birds. Kobe ba Kobabayashi, direct designer. Sealed temple entrance, etc. Sealed hemorrhage 0819. Gate of time I, 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 uh, idea sections. Also, I can't believe I, uh, I'm waiting till now to say this too. I, I probably said this last time, but just in case, this is really important. We are getting into spoiler territory. I did say this, but I'm going to nail it in your head. This is spoilers. This whole book spoils every game in the Zelda series. Up to uh, a link between worlds, and I will spoil that for you too. If you don't want that, don't watch. That's all I'm saying. If you played the game, well, if you played Skyward Sword so far, you're safe here. Other than that, or if you don't care, here you go. The sealed grounds and sacred places. There we go. This sacred place has a unique atmosphere. It is rich in vegetation and wildlife. Warm beans of sunlight bathe the area. The Sealed Grounds probably have no direct connection to other titles, but it's hard not to be reminded of similar places, like uh, where the items like the Master Sword are found. Big Boss Battle Area 2. That's gorgeous. Big Boss Battle Area Plan 0709. 703 Boss Area Variations. We are thinking about how we wanted the game to play and to, uh, gameplay to work with the imprisoned. We knew the player must be conscious of where the enemy was at all times. So we designed the large corkscrew shaped hole. It aligns with, with the bottom of the Isle of the Goddess. We, As we were planning, we also kept in mind that this land is a sacred but dangerous place where an unspeakable evil was sealed and watched over by the Sheikah. Fujibayashi Director, Kobabayashi Designer. Ocarina of Time 3D, Oracle of Ages. The Three Crests. Carved on the, on the stake of the head of the imprisoned are the crests of Faror and the other two goddesses. They are modeled on crests that appeared in earlier games. These crests are also associated with the sages and different races. And appear in other games as well as this one. Farron Woods. The great tree stands in the center of a vast forest. Where, and a variety of living things come here to ask for its blessing. The forest is home to the Kikwi and the Perella live in the Lake Floria to the south. Oh, thank god. I thought my I keep thinking my capture card free. Yeah, let's get that as a thumbnail. Yeah, I got the whole screen. Looks beautiful. Looks like, that looks like a beautiful painting it does. A lot of great artwork. Sky Skyview Temple, but that's enough of me bannering. That's the whole purpose of this third read through, right? No bannering. Still doing it. Far and Woods was designed using a painterly, painterly style because we were trying to make a forest world that looked like something out of an illustrated storybook. Since the forest is the first area the player will visit, we try to make it bright and easy to navigate. To keep people from getting bored, we pack the area with tons of fun things so the players stay engaged. Nishibi, designer. Great tree. The floor and walls are covered with white mold and spores. Skyview Temple, official visual. Skyview Temple. Lake Floria. Lake Floria, official visual. Lake Floria is the first underwater stage, but it's a little small. We wanted an area where the player could have fun swinging around for hours and decided on an underwater forest. After struggling with the concept, we chose to go with some place the player had been before, so we flooded Farron Woods with a massive area for the player to surround in. Fujibayashi, Director. Farron Woods, the Water Dragon. Farron the Water Dragon. One of the three dragons ass uh, assigned to protect the surface for the, uh, for the goddess's far war, Farron has a gruff personality. She flooded the, fo the forest to cleanse it of demons. Ancient Sister, an official version. Visual. Ancient Sister. Cool. Uh, Kolokotos. 
a guardian who protects the ancient cistern. While he hears the incredible marvel of ancient art, inside he brims with dark energy which brings him to life. The Gorons. Gortram, final version. At Skyward Sword, the, Gord or the Gorons act as Link's guides. Their curiosity has led them to explore the surface world, and it explains their being located all over it. We originally planned to go with more printed designs, but as there are many new species in this game, we decided to go for more familiar look. Rono Designer, Kobabayashi, direct Designer. Fossilized Goron, over here. The Kikwi. They are gentle and, and have easygoing personalities. When asked, Fee will reveal a variety of information about each individual. When the opportunity arises, ask her about them. Hirono, designer. Forest people force him. Uh, Machi, Ulo, Lopsa, Erla, final versions. Yerbal, final design. Bucha, final design. Standard, fresh bout, sports. Sprouts, dried out. Crazy. Regular person, elder. Elder, regular tribe member. Design plans for forest creatures. The Kikwi beat out the other designs and were eventually established as the forest creatures because they had adhered to the idea that we set out with which was that of creatures that took the form of and appeared in the guise of grass and other or other plants. Also, their innocent facial expressions abide the spirit of the forest. Oh, I remember this. This guy. The Perella. Sketches started with images of small fish laughing, darting about, and having fun. We decided on the design of a standard Perella, which looks like small pieces of coral on its head. The leader of the Perella, who guides Link, was a, has a larger coral on her head, which she uses as a key to unlock the, a door. Kaneko, designer. The Phantom Zora. We originally planned to have a race that closely resembled the Zora, but we were told to design a more primitive race, and the idea was rejected. Elden Volcano. It is an area of active eruptions, and over half the land is covered in lava. Uh, that's that's the reason that there are many fire-tingled monsters living there. The magma, who are excellent diggers that, and move underground, also live there. We wanted to allow the player to have fun with differences in elevation, so we immediately decided to add mountains. In the primitive volcanic belt lies ruins that have slowly lost the battle with time and have the reputation of being infested with Bakoblin monsters. The dungeon design was based off Southeast Asian architecture and coloring, which is why you see extensive use of vibrant primary colors. Fujibayashi director, Shirai designer. Here's another picture right in there. Come on. There you go. Yeah. All right. Elden the Fire Dragon. One of the three dragons, he's the protector of Elden of Province. He's a secluded and hermetic uh, life at the top of the volcano. Earth Temple. Skeldera. The, uh, this monster torments Link in the Earth Temple. It begins as a typical rock, but has was given life through Girahim's magical power. Fire Sanctuary. Final Sketch Sanctuary, or official visual. Magma Elder. Gold, final version. Bronzy, final version. Platz, final version. Silva, final version. The Magmas. We wanted the Magmas to be a race of burrowers. Despite being tenacious treasure hunters, they are surprisingly timid. They actually have a, a very developed culture. In the initial designs, they look like a bit more human, laughs Hirono, designer. 
lead albino version Lanairu Desert a widespread arid area long ago it was a lush with greenery but several hundred years ago it began a sudden transition to des desertification before it was a desert Ancient robots were used here to mine a powerful ore known as a time shift stone. There's another one. Yeah, let's get that going. This also is a good way to make sure my... I'm really nervous about my capture card because it just stopped working for no reason. Last recording. There we go. Lots of thumbnail opportunities there. We are thinking about creating an area that's drastically transformed from one landscape to another and thought, what would be a fitting landscape to show dramatic change? We decided on a desert that used to have plant life and great sea. In the Lanairu Sand Sea area, the dungeon has a fairy tale has fairy tale qualities. So we decided to make a dungeon a ship that uh, uh, the, uh, that dungeon a ship that floats over the desert. We also wanted it to be mobile, which is another reason we decided it on a ship. Fuji Bayashi, director, Sh Sh Shimizu designer. Pedestal, portable ore for the time shift stones. Time shift stones designs. Rotating stones uh, pedestal. Stone statue designs. With the activation of time shift stones, the this area transitions between the present and the past, and we were tasked with using this theme in a desert. First, we thought about how the gameplay would work with this time change, and from there, how that change could keep the game interesting without sacrificing gameplay. Shimizu, designer. The power to control time. With the talk of controlling time, one can't help think of Ocarina of Time. The Ocarina is the same color as the time shift stones. Could be they may be made from the same material? Lanayu Mining Factory, official visual. Lanairu Mining Facility. The, the Thousand Year Arach, Arachna Mulderock. A monster that inhabits the inner depths of the mining facility. It is said that when a, Arachna lives for a thousand years, it becomes a Mulderock. Ancient Harbor. Skipper's Boat, final version. Skipper's Retreat. Skipper's Retreat. Panoramic View. Shipyard. Pirate Stronghold. Sand Ship. Whoa. Tentalus. The boss fight on the sand ship. Tentalus is a giant octopus monster designed with tentacle hair that's hard not to notice. Tell me about it. Thunder Dragon Lanairu. One of the three dragons, he's the protector of the Lanairu Desert. He looks forward to someone holding him and accepting his challenge. Ancient Robot, final design. Ancient Robot. We wanted to create a robot, but did not want it to come across as cold and lifeless. So we designed to make it look more like a clay figurine. After we had the general direction, everything else came together rather quickly. Rono, designer. And we are going to end it here today, and uh, continue on the Silent Realm in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been Billy, your video game analyzer. Have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you next time.